Hi all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, the lucky mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for this new moon in Cancer, July 17th, 2023, psychic crystal reading for each of the four elements: earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Please be sure to watch the entire video because this new moon in Cancer is not just going to affect your sun sign only. It will affect all of your elements corresponding to your sun, moon, and rising signs. So you may want to watch the entire video. And remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. Um, I'm using my crystal in this reading and I'm in a different setup because I'm currently having mobility issues and once these get resolved I will be moving back to my usual location so bear with me on this new spot so all that being said now on to your psychic crystal reading for this new moon in cancer July 17th 2023 and I'm starting with the element of earth this is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Some of you earth signs will really feel over the next two weeks and up to 30 days that you want to take charge in a situation or be in charge in some way. You've got to be careful. You may be imposing your will on other people that they may not be appreciative of. You may also find that you're going to speak out of turn, like you may speak up and, and interject your opinion. This could be in a private sense. It could be at work where you like blurt something out or, you know, nobody's asking what you think about something and you're giving your unsolicited opinion and advice. So that may be fine. It doesn't necessarily mean that that would not work out for you, but it's just something to think about. Some of you may find yourself building up something. Uh, it could be building up a business or building up your strength or your immunity or building a wall or a fence, but building something up could even be your self-esteem. Some of you earth signs may find over the next two weeks and up to 30 days, you're having a very watchful eye on the people around you. You may be suspicious of them. It could be that. Uh, but you could just be watchful of them like, what are they up to? You know, you could be kind of nosy during the next 30 days. Or it could be you want to get your finger on the pulse of what's going on out there in the world or in your neighborhood. You could be checking out what your kids are up to, your neighbors are up to, uh, or family. You may be like really scoping people out while this new moon in Cancer is affecting you. Some of you are signs are going to make some kind of breakthrough in something. Uh, so it could be like a breakthrough in your career, a breakthrough, a medical breakthrough. It could be a breakthrough like if you've been on a diet plateau and you're not losing any weight and you're like, oh, I need this breakthrough. Or if you're trying to make a breakthrough where you are like uh, trying to communicate with somebody and you're not having good communications, you can make some kind of communication breakthrough. Some of you earth signs are going to find that you reap positive rewards from something that you've put out into the public. It could be something you wrote. Uh, it could be, you know, or something you did for work, your business, or a project, or something you did 
in a family situation or even for some club group or organization. It, it's like something you wrote or something you said or saw a video you made or something you put out there. Uh, you get and it had like a positive spin to it and you're going to get positive feedback and reaction. Over uh, the days around the new moon and for the next two weeks, it's the strongest, but it can last even up to 30 days. Some of you earth signs that have had any kind of violent outbursts or anger or falling out with anybody in the recent past or somebody that did that to you, either you did it to them or they did it to you, they could come back in and uh, patch things up with you now, make amends. There could be making peace with somebody is indicated. One of your cautions, I always give you three at the end, you could find yourself spilling your guts to somebody or spilling the beans, like spilling the secrets, so, you know, breaking somebody's confidence or revealing your own stuff and your own secrets. And that's a caution. I don't advise you do that, to do that, even if you feel safe and comfortable at the time you do it. Because I do feel like it's coming up as a caution, so somehow it's going to backfire on you, or there could be something that comes of it that you wished you, you hadn't rung that bell. You also need to be careful that you're not digging in too deep in some kind of situation that you really shouldn't be sticking your nose in. Uh, it's, it could be one of your kids, a family member, could be something at work, something to do with your boss, something to do with uh, a club or a group or an organization. You may start like, you know, rooting around, uh, sticking your nose in something and you may get caught or you could get fired over it or you could really tick somebody off really badly. So don't be too nosy and snoop de doop de about stuff over the next 30 days. The other caution is some of you earth signs may be like working yourself to death to try to get something done and completed and you're pushing, pushing, pushing and you're like burning the candle at both ends or you're just working too much. And in the long run, you're going to find that it's not really worth it that you that you went to such lengths. So it's good to not like burn the candle at both ends. Don't stress yourself out too much. Don't overwork yourself because in the long run, you're going to be like, I did all that and I didn't really need to, you know, go to such lengths. So I hope those messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. Now on to the element of water. This is Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Your water signs, you're going to feel like it's a brave new world out there. And you're going to feel very compelled to be adventurous and outgoing and to fight the good fight. And I have got to tell you, I don't know that I've ever seen a giraffe in the crystal before. I maybe have now that I think of it, but it's been a while. You have a giraffe that showed up. So whenever an animal shows up, I always recommend go to your computer and type in animal totem and then whatever animal I say, and then see what the spiritual message or reason that that animal showed up for you. So you water signs got giraffe for this new moon in Cancer. You may find water signs over the next two weeks and up to 30 days in the days around the new moon that you're telling a lot of people what to do. <laughs> you may be very dictatorial and kind of bossy during that time. Some of you may be quite emotional. Some of you water signs may find like you want to make take a great big cry into your pillow and get out all this pent up frustrations or emotions. Some of you water signs will be financially well off because it's like something comes through for you. The days around the new moon or for two weeks is the strongest or up to 30 days. So 
It could be a promotion, uh, a raise and a promotion. It could be an insurance payout or some kind of check or a dividend check or an insurance payout or I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's like some kind of money comes through for you. Some of you water signs are going to be like, uh, I don't know how to say this. My guides are saying reinstating yourself in a stronger position. So I feel what they're trying to say here with using it that way is like, uh, say you have, uh, you work for another business or, or company. You may want to be like, show, strut your stuff, show your value, show your importance, uh, make your bosses, managers, supervisors, see like how far you're willing to go for them. And, and you can, and if you own your own business, this could be if with your clients and customers, and if it's in a family situation or in a club group or organization, you may be going the extra mile and like saying, don't underestimate me. Look how important I am or valuable to you, this unit, this team, this club, this organization, this family, this business, you're going to make yourself kind of like uh, valuable or show that you're indispensable. Some of you water signs are going to get the opportunity to speak in front of a group of people. It could be on a video or on a Zoom call, uh, which could be even put on the internet. Or it could be a, a wedding toast. You could be teaching a class, uh, giving a webinar, a seminar. I don't know what it is, but getting, it, it's like, it's a blessing. It's a positive thing. This is your ability to speak in front of people and garner some kind of maybe money, maybe more notoriety, maybe more of respect. I feel also that my guides are talking about that some of you water signs are going to get invited to some kind of gathering uh, that is going to be very special and maybe even unique and could even have like, it could have like far reaching implications. Like maybe you're getting invited to a, a ball, a gala, a mayor's to the mayor's mansion to the governor's mansion to uh some ceo of a company's big party and so you going may give you the chance to connect with important people hobnob network that kind of thing now here are the three cautions at the end You know, my guides are saying, water signs, your diligence is going to pay off, but you could be so hyper vigilant that you end up also tripping yourself up and making too many mistakes. So be cautious of that. Like you're doing great things and going the extra mile, but then you're so like hyper about it or hyper focused that then there's other mistakes you make in the mix. Okay, this is a weird message. <laughs> Welcome to Psychic Readings. Some of you may be wanting to ward off negative or evil energy by doing some kind of occult practices or something you heard about in a book or on the internet or that you a friend told you or you heard in a class or something and it's to like keep negative energy away or whatever it is that you're trying to ward off and you may inadvertently open up some kind of portal that and that then opens a door to some negative things that end up coming in you may have the reverse reaction so just be cautious of that if you were trying to think of like i'm going to ward off negative energy, evil spirits, blah, 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 whatever. Be careful of, you know, you have to really know what you're doing. I wouldn't mess around with that kind of stuff. Not over the next 30 days. I would not. Now, some of you may not care about this at all, 
But here's another caution for the third caution for the water signs. Some of you are actually going to be really aggravating a coworker. And if you are retired, it could be a family member. And you may not be aware of it, and maybe you don't even care if you are. But I just see somebody being really irritated by either something you're saying or doing. Uh, they may feel like you're micromanaging them or like watchful over what they're doing and that could be getting on their nerves. It could even be your kids could be feeling that way about you. Like I said, remember what I said, whoever this is that feels this way about you, you may not care that they feel this way, but some of you might and it's coming up as a caution. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. Now on to the element of fire. This is Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. You may find fire signs over the next two weeks and up to 30 days that you are tripping over your words. So if you have to make, give any speeches, teach any classes, give any toasts, give any kind of like serious conversations with people, <laughs> you may find like you can't find the right words or you're babbling or tripping over your words. Some of you uh, that are working or have your own business may feel like you want to stop the presses, stop all work, stop. Like you may be like, nope, not taking any new customers. Nope, not taking any appointments. Nope, not taking on any new business. Like maybe because you want to take a vacation, maybe you just feel burned out. Uh, I don't really know the reason because it's a general reading, so all of you will be affected differently as to why you want to stop stuff. You know, maybe you just feel overworked. Yeah, it could be that. Or you need a break or a vacation. But I get like, stop, stop all work. You, I, and it, it's like abrupt. I feel you're like, that's it, lights off, door locked, that's it. Some of you fire signs are going to be talking to people or someone from the past. And if they were a love relationship to you in the past, you may end up going out on a date with them or start dating them again or just getting together with them, you know, to catch up. Some of you fire signs are going to be quite brave and you're going to bravely confront somebody. Confront somebody that's been talking down to you or disrespecting you or hurting your feelings or insulting you. You may have been taking it and like trying to let it see if it would slide or pass by. But I get you're at your wits end with it and you're going to be like, you know what? That's that. I'm confronting this. I'm putting a stop to it. Some of you fire signs get a big pay raise or a big increase in salary or money comes to you. The water, water signs got that as well. And you fire, it's, it feels a little different slightly. I really feel like this is more coming like a raise. Uh, that's what it feels like more strongly for the fire signs. If there's anything, fire signs, that you are in the lineup to get selected for, <clears throat> it could even be in a contest, or it could be for a specific job, or project, or position, uh, or part in a play, or in a movie, or whatever, you are going to get selected. You get selected for something. But it's a blessing. It's a positive thing. It's not something that you don't want to do. It's something you do want. Some of you may take a test and or get evaluated by your boss or uh, at like an annual review or evaluated by your boss or have to take some kind of test or something, but you're going to do well. You're going to pass you're going to get high marks, uh, so you're going to do well in any of those areas. Around the days, the days around the new moon in Cancer on the 17th of July and 
up to two weeks is the strongest, but it can even last for 30 days. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Uh, here are your three cautions, fire signs. Number one is you could eat too much. And if you're not eating too much during this time, you may have a, you may tend to get bloated. So you may be eating too much salt or not hydrating enough with water. But it comes up as overeating. So be careful of that. This is a weird caution. Here's number two caution. You're too predictable with something that is coming up and everybody's got it all figured out, what you're gonna say, what you're gonna do and how you're gonna react. So some event is gonna occur for you. And I feel like it's kind of family related, although it could be job related, but I feel it's more family related and everybody's like, ah, watch out fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, whichever you are, is going to, they're going to come in and they're going to say this or they're going to act like this. And because you heard this message, you're going to throw them all off because you don't want to be predictable. I know that maybe sounds like, well, what's so, so weird about that? I don't know. It's coming up as a caution. So don't behave predictably when you hear some kind of news or you it's it's like something's coming up that you're going to hear something about and everybody's expecting to you to react a certain way and they're like Ugh, the fire sign's going to come in and say this and do that don't do what they think you're whatever your natural instinct is to do do the opposite throw them off and <laughs> keep them on their toes Your third caution fire sign is if you're looking for direction, now this could be literal driving directions or directions to get somewhere, uh, but it could be direction of uh, other kinds of direction, spiritual direction, health advice. Uh, I don't know what it is, but somebody's steering you wrong. Be very careful who you are taking and getting direction from, but it could even be if you're going somewhere and they're giving you directions how to get somewhere, there's something wrong about it. Maybe road work came up that they don't know about or different routes have come up. Maybe it's not the person purposely trying to do it, but there could be mitigating factors. So be careful when you're getting any kind of directions of any kind around the days, the days around the new moon in Cancer, and for the next two weeks that follow it, and even up to 30 days. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of air. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Some of you air signs will be inspired to stake your claim and get something that is valuable to you. Could be an object, could be a home, could be, I don't know, something else like a job uh, from the energies coming to you from this new moon in Cancer. The days around the new moon in Cancer for the next two weeks and even up to 30 days. You're gonna be really inspired like, could be something you see on the internet or it could be something you see in a store or it could be something else like a job like I said you're going to be really inspired and it's going to hold value to you it could be material you know like material value <laughs> this new moon in cancer could make some of you air signs feel kind of uppity with your behavior and maybe a little bit a tad self-righteous, possibly. Some of you air signs may find yourselves talking to people that you didn't get along with before, or you had a falling out with in the past, or you had been at odds with them. And like conversing with them again and getting along or patching things up and having some kind of healing. 
some of you air signs are going to find over these next 30 days your diet is going to change and it could be because you may have an, a, a reaction to a food you could start to have allergies or uh, you may be changing your diet for health reasons it could be just to lose weight but i i feel like there's other reasons like either you had some kind of reaction or you feel like something isn't agreeing with you anymore or something is unhealthy and so i see some of you air signs really focusing on a dietary change some of you are going to have really good luck in going through things and getting rid of stuff if you've thought of downsizing or uh you know just feeling like yeah like you have too much stuff decluttering downsizing you're going to have great success with doing that the days around the new moon on the 17th for two weeks and up to 30 days if somebody had stolen something from you you're going to get it back uh could even be intellectual property could be something that you didn't even know somebody took from you and then it gets returned to you and you're like wow i didn't even know it was missing or i didn't know somebody took it now some of you may know that it was missing but it's like something somebody stole or took from you or maybe borrowed and you know never returned it you're going to get it back now if there's something that the air signs need to learn over the next 30 days you are going to learn and catch on to it really quickly so that's going to be excellent if you start a new class a new job or starting a new diet starting a new exercise program or learning a new language or you know you know like i said starting a new job or something you need to learn you're going to learn you're going to learn the ropes of that whatever it is really quickly now here's your three cautions i always give you three at the end of each uh for each element some of you air signs need to be careful that you're putting too much importance or, or emphasis on certain things that really aren't you shouldn't be putting so much importance on like you're neglecting you're putting so much emphasis on certain things that you're neglecting other things so you need more balance in where you're putting your focus and energy you've got to be careful also here's your second caution you are going to be very susceptible to triggering people with your words because i feel like you may be uh a little more emotional you may be prone to be quick tempered or you may be prone to be just thinking you're funny or being sarcastic or you know um, having a dry sense of humor and you could offend people and somebody could take things the wrong way The other caution I get for the air signs is you could have issues with your digestive system. And I feel like it's from something you eat. It could be uh, sugar, chocolate, dairy. Uh, it could have something to do with gluten. I feel it's more like sugar or dairy related. And it could upset your digestive system. So be focused on if you know you you get triggered by certain foods or you have some kind of food allergy or food sensitivity i'd be really careful of that while this new moon in cancer is uh giving this energy to your signs to your element of air so i hope this reading was of help to you and i hope it made sense as always thank you so very much for watching i do truly appreciate it and please like this video if you liked it and share it with others if you feel it's worth sharing and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe that way 
you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And remember, there, there may be people in your life or people you know that could benefit from psychic predictions and messages, and it would help my channel grow, and you could be helping your friends or family out by steering them to these readings that I do here on YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record from my Vimeo On Demand videos, you can access these by clicking on the link down below in the description box in the Show More section. And that's where I post my most recently recorded video series links. Or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. And there you can read all the different video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and then you just click on whichever zodiac sign you want under the heading of the video series you want, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. I'm going to name some of the most recently recorded video series so you know what some of them are. My mid-year psychic tarot update for 2023 for each sign of the zodiac is available. That link is down below. These mid-month, the beginning of the year and the middle of the year are the two most popular times of year the, that people are interested in because you got, you know, you got the second half of this year. You might want to see what comes up here in the mid-month psychic tarot update. My mid-year love and romance psychic tarot update for 2023 for singles and couples is that link is down below and the first half of the video is for the single people of your sign the second half of the video is for the coupled people of your sign and then I pull an oracle card reading for both signs just one for both the singles and the couples at the end of the video. I highly recommend watching the entire video because there could be some crossovers where some of the messages for the singles apply to the couples and couples could apply to the singles. And in all of my video series, if you can get both your rising sign and your sun sign, I do recommend you do so. But if you're unsure and you just want to get one, go by what generally resonates with you on my YouTube readings. If your sun sign's usually dead on for you, then get your sun sign. If it's your rising sign or your moon sign that speaks to you the most, then get that. But some people find that fluctuates month to month. Now, you are being affected by the eclipses that we had in April and May all the way until October of 2023. If you haven't gotten the eclipse readings yet, you might want to check them out. I use the same format in both of the eclipse video series. Uh, so the first one is the eclipse effects from the new moon solar eclipse in Aries. That happened in April 2023. Psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. And the full moon lunar eclipse um, in Scorpio, May 2023, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. You're being affected by those eclipses. You might want to see what came up for you. A lot of people comment on those videos and say they find the eclipse videos to be very accurate for them. So you may want to check them out. Also, don't forget my Psychic Crystal readings for the month of July 2023 are available on Vimeo. That link is down below and also on my website. And these are like a continuation or an expansion of the Psychic Tarot readings that I do at the beginning of the month on YouTube. I look into the crystal and into every area of life I can think of. Love, romance, singles, couples, uh, dating, money, business, work, health, family, uh, cautions. It's all in there in those crystal readings. So if you're not getting those, you might want to get them. Lots of people find they're helpful for them every month. Now, there's other video series like What's Lucky and New for You in 2023. We're, we're not even, we're just halfway through 2023. If you haven't checked out what's going to be lucky and new for you this year, you might want to look at those. Also, my career and finance a psych, uh, my career and finance, I think they're psychic tarot. I don't know if I did crystal in them also, but those readings started in April of 2023 
and go all the way until October of 2024. Not of October of 2023, October of 2024. So you get 12 to 18 months worth of predictions in those career and finance readings. So you may want to check them out. There's other video series linked down below. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I do appreciate your purchases. I sponsor my own videos. I don't um, I have a lot of people that write me and want me to sponsor you, you know, sponsor this product or that product. I sponsor my own videos. I sponsor my YouTube videos with my own Vimeo videos. So when you make purchases of those Vimeo videos, you are supporting this channel. So thank you so very much for that. And if you would like to make a donation and support the readings that I do here, I have a link down below connected to PayPal to make donations. And I do thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does really mean a lot to me and it does help me a lot. So thank you so much for that. And if you want more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and on Instagram at the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram and also on my community page for my YouTube channel, Pamela Georgell. I am posting these readings there as well. There's five paragraphs of messages every time I pull a tarot card, an oracle card, or rarely but occasionally I do do the crystal. And many people find that those messages resonate with them. And you may find they resonate with you. And even if the whole five paragraphs doesn't resonate with you, you may find one or two or three messages in those five paragraphs are speaking directly to you. So I feel if you're drawn to go see what I've written, there's probably some message there for you. So I hope you have absolutely wonderful energy that comes to you from this new moon in Cancer, July 2023 to all the signs of the zodiac out there and know that i wish you many blessings and peace